A big shakeup at a Pinellas County school. It's facing an intervention for not making the grade. Our Liz Din is live at the school in St. Petersburg that scored an F. So, Liz, uh, how did all of this happen? Well, Linda, I'll do my best to explain to you. Gibbs High School here, they were labeled as an F the previous school year. They got that F based on FCAT scores. Staff here, though, thinks they could go up to a D when they get their new grade later this year. Although you got to ask, with improvements, well, why would they still get labeled as one that needs intervention? Well, that's because up at the state level, education officials use the scale to differentiated accountability. It goes beyond FCAT scores to say if a school needs improvements. The hallways are empty and the classrooms are cleaned up and ready to go. School starts in a few days and Gibbs High School principal Kevin Gordon has spent part of his time this week giving his teachers a pep talk. There was concern that some jobs might have to go, but he says everyone is staying. It's certainly not going to happen this year. Uh, we're opening school at business as usual on next Tuesday. All teachers will be here. The state labeled the school as an F school the year before based on FCAT scores. Thursday, the Florida Department of Education put the school in the intervene category of its school accountability system. The principal says teachers won't be cut this year, but among the changes students might expect is having a school day that could be an hour longer. Because what the data has shown over the last five years is that we have not made enough progress in helping kids to be proficient in reading. Because the staff and students here are trying to get better, Gibbs High School will get at least a million and a half dollars in the next three years through what's called a school improvement grant. You know, I talked to one of the assistant principals here. He used a really great analogy when he said, right now feels like halftime of a big football game. Sure, the team feels like they may be down, but it's up to the coaches to encourage them that they can still go back in there and get the big win. So certainly the next few days before that first day of school, they say will be like a bunch of pep talks for these teachers who hope to certainly help all of these students get better grades and better FCAT scores. Live in St. Petersburg, Elizabeth Din, ABC Action News. Thanks, Liz. To find out how your child's school rated, log on to ABC. See Action News slash links. There you'll find a complete list of Tampa Bay schools along with the scores they each receive.